but um yeah now we're on maximum yeah so your formula goes equals to max double click on max sorry the word doesn't doesn't appear in full it only appears as max right so you highlight yeah highlight um oh the 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 data that you want to this one's the the maximum from which is what we've just done the like the entire uh all the marks for test one right now enter uh our answer is 85 and if you check properly uh here you can tell that our answer is correct because 85 is the biggest number for test one right let's do the formula again real quick equal to max double click uh right 87 for test 2 is 87 the right answer your bad it is also failed thank you Right now we are on minimum equals M I N for minimum. There is it appearing. You can double click and then you can highlight. Right, press enter. Twenty one is the minimum. Double check. Yes, twenty one is the minimum. Then you can auto fill. Twenty five, sixty, thirty two, forty nine is that correct? Chase, chase, right. Got it done. Um, there's your formulas for average, maximum, and minimum, as well as total. The last one, the last formula is a uh, percentage. Percentage is the trickiest one. People usually get this wrong, perhaps in a, in a test or whatever. Even in assignments, by it's the trickiest one. Please just just uh, pay attention on this one um firstly you type in equals to as as you did for the rest equals to and then you go and click on the cell that you want to calculate the percentage of right so what i want to calculate is the percentage of that uh, joseph lee got for for a test right for his test Uh, right so you go equals to and then you click on the cell that contains the total that you want to calculate and it's going to appear like that right i typed in equals to and i went and click on this number here 224 because that's the number that i want the percentage of right and we got the cell logged in j2 about if you got it like that, then you can go divide it by the total here is 500. If the total is 300, you go type in 300, right? Uh, for, for, for this one, it's 500. So you're going to type in 500. And the last one is times 100. Every time you want to calculate a, 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 a percentage, always ensure that you multiply it by 100, right? And then enter 64.8. Let's do another one. Last one equals to go and click on 281. Cell J3, there is it appearing. Divided by 500 times 100. Enter 56. Okay, now let's cut out That. okay now you don't want you don't want it to appear like like this uh you you don't want to have all these these decimal places right 
it's supposed to be spray it's like whole numbers all right uh what you do to change that check here check here um you got these two icons they contain arrows pointed to the right and the left and they have a lot of zeros that's where you can decrease your decimals there you, or you can increase your decimals all right for 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 these assignments you want to decrease them and so you're gonna click on the icon that enables you to decrease which is what i'm doing decrease about decrease and each one each one each one uh, almost done now almost done Done. Now let's 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 center this real quick. Center, center, center. As well. Um. Okay. Oh, also for this two. No decimal places. And now what I'm gonna show you is how you input your border and yeah one other border that you might have missed. I'm gonna show you real quick just now. Uh last one and center that as well. Yeah, well um what is well? Your border is is okay. It's it's going right down next to our percentage and be before the first column. All right. So you highlight exactly as it appears on our. Now it doesn't want to highlight. Thank you. Ah, Bona. doesn't want to highlight. Don't know what the problem is. Oh. First, let's start with this one, please. If if you look carefully, there is a thick there's a there's a thick black line uh, moving uh, going down next to next to your totals. There's a thick black line there, and that's what I'm going to insert right now because I full look highlighter in Oh. Right. Ah, if in here too, it doesn't want to highlight. Right, thank you. There's your border. There's your borders actually. Go to more borders and gonna click on the line that you're looking for, of course, and click on the right like that because you only want one line you don't want the entire the entire the entire border you don't want it to, to be like an inner rectangular form you only want one line so that's why i'm only clicking one side right and there you go Hello? so if it was it was highlighting grabbing it now almost 
almost let's just do it anyways but you're gonna do it better than this right outline Yeah, it's supposed to be appearing like many hamburg along as a before before it not so it's not supposed to cut out one two three to twelve but yeah if you know highlighted but you you're gonna so when I show you not like this okay right last thing that I want to show you guys is how to you're supposed to put this in alphabetical order okay and how exactly do you do that you must highlight uh, how you want. like that thank you okay you must highlight it like that first if you want to put it in alphabetical order Highlight the names of the people as well as their marks. Okay Now you go sort and filter A to Z click Now the first surname is Andrews the second go blah blah blah, blah and the last one is Uzumabo, which is what you want and it, Why did you highlight uh, their marks as well so that it, so that we, 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 that we don't we don't mix up the totals if if you do not highlight the marks sort of because now people are gonna be assigned to to marks that they didn't get you know? people the names of the people are gonna change in alphabetical order but the marks won't change which will make like the whole thing a mess right yeah if I think we about 